Mikey shall be banished. Hello. Just give me one second. Hi, Mikey. Hello, hello. It's my concho himself. Okay, one more second, sorry guys. I saw we. I saw we. Hey, lyrical picks black cat cat. All right. We got a Diz, a lyrical, and a pixel. Howdy ho. Oh, oh excuse me, sorry. Hi, Dits. Crap second. Beaming face with smiling eyes, you got us, yes. Hey, what's or up, even Stu? Third. Face red heart shape. And a G4. Hi, Dits and Lyrical. And Miss Pixel. Hi Mikey, what's good sir? Relief face. Not a whole hell of a lot there, brother. Hey Mikey. Hey VG, how are you? G4 face blowing a kiss face blowing a kiss. Hi G4 and VG. Hello G4, Pix smiling face with open hands, Lyrical smiling face with open hands and Dit smiling face with open hands. Hello Mikey smiling face with sunglasses. Smiling hey, zero. face with hearts hey hey VG smiling face with open hands. Hi VG welcome. Hey VG smiling face with open hands smiling face with open hands. Hello Dits, G4, smiling face with sunglasses VG, Pixel, lyrical smiling face with open hands. Hello everyone smiling face with sunglasses. Evening Mikey. Hello Zero hey, hey, smiling face with open hands. Face in clouds hey Zero and slacks. Hey Hun Red Heart. Welcome Zero and Honey Me. Yo Slacker smiling face with sunglasses. Low over the sea. On goal the smiley face and open hands now. Oh wow, lots of smiles for Mikey tonight. <laughs> In the darkest reaches of the deepest ocean. Stewie the dog slayer, hand pink waving, VG. Face red heart shape, zero pix lyrical. Good day to you too. Are we in New England? <sighs> Welcome to America. Something's bothering you. Charles's letter. What of it? The ghost must be uncommonly dangerous, or he would banish it himself. And we shall charge him double. <sighs> I'm serious. If the Reverend needs help, this can be no easy business. Red, you best be ready. I'll be careful, Master Duarte. Your apprentice stands ready to serve. Slacker smiling face. Come on, Atea, we need to go. Zero smiling face with hearts. Rory McWraith, gallant to the last. Life uh. to the living, death to the dead. Consider our lovers, Antea and Red, the greatest banishers I ever knew. 
Life to the living, we say, and death to the dead. It is not so simple. Since the dawn of humanity, the dead have lingered. Dead as alive, we are complex and emotional beings. Hmm. Many entangled are the ties that bind. Since the beginning of memory, banishers have fought to sever those ties. Death is but a trifle. It comes to us all. To haunt or be haunted. There lies the true horror. Charles Davenport. I, Charles Davenport, should know it. Uh, yeah. The haunting of New Eden scared me to death. I dearly wish I had not begged my friends to come and lift the curse. Okay, so Charles Davenport is dead, and he invited Red and his wife to break the curse. Well, if this is June, I'd hate to see January. I wanted to freeze my backside off in the summertime. I'd have stayed in Scotland. London wasn't much better. Look at it. It's cold as a bishop's eyes. Look, you for a true Scotsman. You jealous? I don't mind saying it. I'm very disappointed. Charles wasn't lying. New Eden is cold as death. You may well be disappointed. Scotland is way overrated disguised face. <laughs> He'd better be at the tavern. He's not a real Scotsman, he has pants on. Does he though? We haven't seen. I think I weary of long bowling sea voyages to grim faraway lands. I can't remember the last time we did something else than work. After this, we should set sail. Is there anything important over here? Safe. The dead don't linger. No such place. But it's not a bad idea. He's just a wee Jesse. He's just a wee Jesse. Smiling face with open hands. <laughs> Have I mentioned how grim this place is? I heard and you if anybody knows time. about Jesse's, but I don't disagree. It'd be Stewie, Mr. G4. Oh, there's no slide. Okay, well, I, I just, get through here. just sure. did something by accident. Let's go traipsing through the rotten, falling down house. What did I just pick up? Pyrite. Looks steady enough. I play with you, Mikey, so yes. Gado, that doesn't sound right, thinking face. Oh, you play with me all right, buddy. Ugh. Is it just me or are we not welcome here? Keep going. I'll find a way to meet up with you. Over-eager apprentices. I can break my way through here. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Those boxes will never mess with me again. Oh. The sensitivity look is pretty... pretty sensitive. I might have to adjust that.
How dare you break that box, sir? I can beat you in my sleep. Everything all right down there? Just a sneaky wanderer. You? Same, but I managed. Are these specters watching the road? Maybe, but are they keeping oh, people outside are. town? Or are they keeping them in? That's a hard question. That's like asking a question to be or not to be. Leather. Okay. Some random leather on the ground. I like her sword. That's a pretty cool sword. Oh, more wonders. Behind you. Well, laddie, you kind of get me. It's easy as falling off. All excited with this ghost killing. Can't tell how long these people are dead. The original settlers, perhaps. Whoever, this doesn't bode well. She's in big words. <laughs> You need subtitles made. Oh, I can actually understand him. Attacking your with your weapons fills the banishing gauge. When the banishing gauge is full, press X and banish your yeah, time to leave for good. I banish the Perhaps these words will be lost in time, but I must write them. The date I cannot say. I, I know love Auntie. it is the month of the June. Month of June in the year of 19, uh, 1695. I thought we would be safer in Providence. I thought we would finally see the children, our children again, and the golden f wheat fields would bring with their laughter. Their mother now lies dead, and I shall join her soon. Something insidious. I bet you guys didn't think I knew that word. I knew that word. Insidious walks the road. Terrible spirits took us. New Eden is cursed. You who reads this now, I tell you, run. These people left New Eden town just a few days ago. What exactly is going on here? Well, I didn't notice these people. Okay. Anything else? Nope, all right. Oh, wow, Ma Wee Boy is using big words. Proud Papa. You damn straight. I graduated. I could beat 
you in my sleep. Spectralus. I feel like a Ghostbuster song should be playing. That all goes badly for the case. Situation is worse than you thought. Let's wait to hear what Charles has to say. Oh, Charles! Charles! Empty docks in a growing settlement. Maybe he doesn't like Charles. Try Chuck. Other town selectmen sitting on their asses. Isn't that what selectmen do? Oh, there's a split in the road here. Who the hell bombs their own clubs? People who fear pestilence or disease. Or both. Well, I'm very biblical. Oh, it's kind of like open world shit. All right. Not the busiest stables I've ever seen. No ostler and no horses. If they burned their crops and ran out of food, then they probably ate the horses. Mmm, horse meat. Where'd Red go? Let's find the inn. Let's find Charles. It'll be good to see Charles and Esther again. <laughs> Would you like hey, Mickey and all in chat. Area of investigation. <laughs> Esther wouldn't dare. And we don't need a piece of paper to keep us together. Hello, Alhoon. What's up, Alhoon? All right, hold on. You have reached the location of your current objective. Your compass... Oh, okay. Your compass will not allow you to read. Hi, Alvoon. Hi, Alvoon. Hey, slacker. Is that red? No, that's... That's red. In... Dock Cemetery. Postal Horn Hoon, Postal Horn Hoon. Hey, 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 lady. Hey, lady. That was mean of her. Well, I don't like the looks of that road. Excuse me, kind madam. You'll be the banishers then. Sign of the horns, light skin tone slacker. But if poor Minister Davenport mentioned your names, I have forgotten them. Ante Duarte. This fellow here is Red McGraith. Of course. I'm Lisbeth O'Hara. The minister said you'd have questions. Well? Could you point us to the tavern? We're expected. The King's Arms. I'll not point it out to you as I disapprove of drinking. It's the large building next to the gallows. Oh, aren't you, Miss Heidi Tidy? What are you doing out here? Most people seem to stay indoors. 
Since you ask, I came to town to buy a remedy for Mistress Fitcher. My sister has a sore leg. You're a witch. The salve eases her discomfort. We have a small farm some miles from here. And yes, the curse sits there too. You may have your time back with my thanks. Well, thank the Lord for that. <laughs> This door is locked. That looks like a big building. That really looks like a big building. XD. Mikey. And a hoof fungus. Sounds like something you get on a bad date. Hey Johnny, how was your date last night? Oh, it was alright, but I got him up with a big case of hoof fungus. I've been itching all night long. There's the inn. Aha! I know that's because it says in. My stockade. Welcome at Alhoon Gaming. How rude I in the day. How are you doing? That could have been translated a little bit better there, uh, Fembot. This part of town is closed by the governor's decree. Oh my Fembot does not speak Scottish. In day I'm great. Meeting house, schoolhouse, dock, cemetery. Curfew. In hours of darkness, stay in your homes. No discord. You're not allowed to use discord. No turmoil. Governor Haskell. A curfew? But why? Uh, the first resort. How's your soul gaming? Discord is what brought the curse to the town. Apparently. Pour us a drink. Finally. Banish it. Please, come in. As it is cold, your serving woman may sit while we talk. Will I'm the serving woman. No bad the day, Alhu. You're not Charles. My name is Antea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McGrath. The date, sirs, madam. Now, where's Charles? Minister Davenport said help was on its way. I assume... Keep digging, Fairfax. Good day. Pennington, captain of the train band. This here is Thickskin Newsmith. We're the select... Thickskin Newsmith. <laughs> What's left Hello, Newsmith. Why is Charles not here? We're oh. sorry for your loss. We'll do what we can for his widow. The Reverend is dead. When? How? A terrible tragedy. Though our faith sustains us, we are still very much in shock. Ah, shock. That is all. I made it. Mr. Rob, how are you? Welcome, Losing sir. Precious time. As governor of the colony of New Eden, it is my responsibility. Oh, look at us. Sat here waiting to meet the same fate. We could all be miles away by now. 
You lot do what you want. I Hello, RP smiling face with open hands. He a Mr. Mikey. Hi, Rob. Hey, slacker, just so you know, VG has her own channel in my Discord for her videos. Smiling face with open hands, VG. Welcome, my desert man. RP smiling face with open hands. Hi, Ham. We may yet prevail. Then I shall leave you with That's your That's a nice eye you got there, buddy. Pig's smiling face with open hands. My expertise in blood and battle is of little use. Mistress Duarte. There's my man down under. You may visit me at home. On the other side of the street, as it were. Well, Governor, shall you leave? Or shall you stay? For myself, I'll stay. <clears throat> Our company has suffered terribly. But we are worth saving. And now that you okay, are... Okay, thanks, Alhoon. Just learning that. Please. Smiling face with smiling eyes. For the loss of your friend. We feel the loss of our minister so very keenly. Charles Davin it's no prob slacker. Devotion. The pride indeed of New Eaton. It discommodes me greatly to remember how he found his body in the cemetery. Indeed, it distresses me yet further to tell you that we do not know what so tragically cost him his life. What do you think happened? Could your positions not save him? All right. Well, let's what start do with you that think one. happened? I could get. Yes, sir, RP, although your wife is getting a little annoyed with me being under the table all the time, winking face with Tom. Yes. <laughs> In the minister's absence, I try. That's where G4 no is most happiest. To protect us all, body and soul, from our ongoing. As long as you give him a pat on the head afterwards. You see, in my youth, I too was something of a demonologist. Rather a good one. If I say so myself. We're not demonologists, and neither was Charles. Is his widow <coughs> Esther taking visitors? The widow Davenport is at home and does not much venture out. Her house overlooks the dock. That explains the side ponytails G4. Yes, slacker. If it were a big deal, you'd already feel his tentacles caressing your face, winking face octopus. <laughs> she knows no more than we do about how her husband died. Well, let's be the judge of that. Okay. Why is town so empty? Of those who did not die, we are the few who stay. Stu, that's because you keep kneeling on her foot winking face. All who remain have shown extraordinary faith and courage. In the face of our adversity. That sounds like the voice of experience Heather face with spiral eyes. Those who left, where did they go? Boston, outlying settlements, anywhere, Ooh, everywhere. Boston. Although, as you may have heard, the weather has likely closed the roads. Some believe the pass through the dark woods offers salvation. I do not. I believe. We must stand our... Now I'm disappointed, Rob. Will they return when the curse is lifted? I fervently hope so. They have homes here. Boston Hay, is Stevie there? Some time ago, <clears throat> many could not live with their absence. If, we... if I hadn't had sausage for a long time, I stick to cats, they purr better. Stewie, not Stevie. Uh, you study demonology? You're a demonologist, you say? I am that, like my father was before me. Faith and science are our twin compasses, you see, to a deeper understanding of the secret. That's surprising, because if you said something like that back in the day, they'd burn you for being a witch. It. And what have your compasses told you about the curse? They have told me. 
They have told me that Reverend Davenport was better placed than I to solve our problem. Which is why you're here. We agreed it. I shall stand for the company, I said. As the moral authority, the anchor. Well, slacker, I'm sure if you want Alhoun to embrace your brain, he will. Mind flayers are notoriously willing in that regard, winking face. Hmm. Heroic work all round. Indeed it is, madam. Indeed it is. But we do it all the same. Because we must. Right. Because we must. What can you tell me about the curse? I can tell you that it has been our misery for many long months now. And I can tell you that it worsens by the increment. First, there was pestilence and disease. Then came the nightmares. Then came madness. In the oh. end came death. And death remains. But in all Sounds honesty, like the horsemen of the apocalypse coming. <laughs> I think the weather is the worst part. This never-ending winter hangs heavy on us all. Worse yet, it traps us here. Sure you're not in Vermont? <sighs> I gotta cover my feet up there. It's a bit cold. What do you think caused the curse? In my humble opinion, I'll point to the obvious. The abyss disgorges its spawn upon New Eden, bent on making God's poor creatures suffer. As to the nature of the demon, that's what we're paying you to find out. Our late friend Charles... Oh my, you are deprived, Pixel. You got to love a good sausage, although I'm prefer bacon myself. Far better than that, I'm afraid. Our contract stands. If you'll have it, yes. Our contract stands for Charles. Ah, my wrist hurts. All right, for Charles. Thank you. We have no coffee, so now I made Ruibos tea. I wish you success. Ah, Forgot how good this tastes. For you in the old schoolhouse. I'll be here if you need me. Okay, meet. Esler Davenport right. at her house. My mind is already flayed, Rob. Is there anything in here I can take? I can read this. No coffee. As announced That's at the last town hall meeting, house. I hereby close Boss the means King's bush. Arms Tavern, leaving the key to the selectman. Redbush Tea. There shall be no ale sold nor drunk until the curse has lifted and I return. The storerooms are locked and so are the bedrooms. God bless. Charity Krugat. Well, Charity. That's not very charitable, is it? What's upstairs? Oh, well, we got something over here that we can take. Pieces of eight. Are we pirates? RPI was at first sad till I had sip of my tea. Okay, so now we have to go to the schoolhouse. Damn it, Charles. The compass indicates the Those direction the and distance storms. towards the objective. Follow the yellow marker. No, no. But this Charles would say, here. another day, another soul to save. It's this way. These people have no idea what they're up against. Oops, I missed that. Down this way. I run on coffee and bad decisions. Without coffee, all I have are bad decisions. Well, 
Oh, sounds like me. Antea, Red. Come in. Hot beverage. Finger red number one, pillow turquoise hot chocolate. Okay. I've barely slept for fear you would not come. I'm at a loss. Would God even allow me to drag you into these... These dark tiles? <laughs> Esther, you're not alone now. We're here. I'm so sorry we didn't get here on time. Truly. I know. Charles kept saying it. Have faith. They will come. If only he had kept his faith himself. What happened to him? Poor Charles. Just one more victim of the curse of New Eden. You know how he is. Was. Restless. Impatient. It's not that he gave up on you, his friends. But that he could wait no more. I believe he tried to lift the curse. I too have questions. But I have no answers. Nor do I now have a husband. Hmm. How were things? You know, before all this. Before the curse. It was a busy and exciting There's time. There's a lot of talking in this game, isn't Charles there? Charles immersed himself in the community here. He had a hand in everything. The people came to rely on him. I'm sure they look to someone else now. But I can't imagine it's the same. Well, what about Governor Haskell? What can you tell me about the esteemed Governor Haskell? Fairfax Haskell is well read and educated. You've no idea how much Lowell grinning, squinting face to find out things. <laughs> All right. I'm but his sure. Passion seems less than practical. But I like He's a heavy, heavy storyline pack. Good game. to know our patron has some understanding of our work. We met the captain too, along with the huntress, Thickskin. Do you know them? I find thick skin New Smith's manner a little frightening, but I think she has a good Yeah, they can be nice. I'll stop back later if you're still on. I want to go sink some warships. Alright, have fun, Rob. Dignity, but I suspect that beneath it all, he's just... sad. Charles thought so too. There are wounds beneath Saul Pennington's armor, he said. That time and God have not yet healed. Is there anything we should know about? Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. I cannot endure it, and Charles does not deserve it. Anything at all, Esther. Please. I have felt Charles present about the house. His ghost lingers. He needs help. If he's here, I promise I will know no rest until he has his. You can count on us. We'll start with the house. Charles's papers are gathered in his office. Take what you need. Thank you, Esther. Ooh. Portrait. Oh, what's this? Inhabit. Inhabitant portrait, once joyful and educated good friend of Etna and Red, is now a young widow who's lost her anchor and drifts unmoored to sea of to the sea of mourning. Intent not obtained. After seeing her husband ghost grieving widow Eth. Esther Davenport is deeply distressed. Okay.
Well, that's interesting. Is there anything we should know about? That's Lord, not what I... Me, for I cannot, in, I cannot endure it. Anything at all, Esther. I have felt... If he's here... You can count on us. We'll start with the house. Charles's papers are gathered. Thank you, Esther. That's we'll what I meant to hear. If that's all right. At least you can skip things and... May I be of any help? Mm, stay put. We'll find the way. You have unlocked your first hint. It contains important information about the person is linked to. If you confer to these hints at any given moment through the haunting to understand why the ghost lingers in incarnate, you must gather hints about each involved in habitation. Once the hints are all been uncovered, the inhabitant's intent is disclosed and you may complete so whatever. A new scotch tune in G major. Purcell, could you find nothing better? These days I lack the heart to play. Can't believe you brought your piano forte to New England. It cost a fortune. But you cannot part a pianist from their beloved keys. My sweet Esther, I can't tell you how much I long to get home. This work in the mystical Scottish Highlands are exciting. I can't argue with that, but I miss you. I miss the sweetness of our home. However, I know that a few months I have left away from your loving arms, I will be a great benefit. Will be a great benefit to me. Through this experience, I will increase my knowledge and all this I do to protect you from those dark worlds that swirl around us. It is your love and trust that pushes me into these mysterious enchant entrenchments that pushes me to do my best. It is for you that I do this. When for, for when I can see the pride in your eyes then I know that what role I play in this earth I know that I can be stronger I know I can do anything as long as you look at me with those spark with that spark in your that's only yours I am thinking of you your love forever Charles My beloved Esther, how long, how I long to hold you in my arms. The announcement of marriage was to my heart as a delicacy on my palate. A sweet of which one cannot tear. <coughs> Last we shall be together and together forever until the day many years from now when we are old and at last, death separates us, for only death can extinguish the love between us. I am sure that not even death can undo the tenderness I feel for you. I want everything to be perfect for our marriage, and it will make it. And I will make it so. I will write you every day until the blessed moments when I can finally shed the weight of the letters and tell you in person. Every day, how I feel about you. I'm thinking about you, your beloved Charles. Thank you. Yes, very cute. Very cute indeed. My dear sweet Esther, I was down and yet you were there to support me. And you are an angel from heaven to help me in my dark mission. You are the light that guides me through the darkness of invisible of the invisible and yet I feel sorry for bringing you to this tortured land you know well that things are not as they should be in New Eden and I am sorry to have you by my side for a fear for your life I wish we could have found a quiet corner of this land there to raise our children but I fear a curse I think we should leave or perhaps we should go ahead while I defend you 
or perhaps you should go ahead while I defend our home. Think about it for I cannot bear through the darkness taking away taking you away from me. Love Charles. How pleasant to see these old familiar things from your house in London. That porcelain saw many a dinner turned lecture with Charles. I miss him so. So do we, Esther. Holy fucking letters, Charles, man. You wrote a lot of letters. How delighted I was to read your words. Oh, to my dearest Charles. Okay. It was always a pleasant... It is always a pleasure to hear from you. To know that you and your beloved Esther are doing well. I have contacted our brothers in London, but unfortunately we cannot find anything in our archives to match the description of the events that have experienced in New England. Be that as it may, pestilence is never ending. Winters are for pneumonia, perhaps too broad for us to pinpoint the exact cause. I can give you a better an I cannot give you a better answer, be it sorcery or the presence of an anchor, 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 or someone else entirely. We cannot say. All I can do is invite you to come to our research. All I can do is invite you to continue your research and take note that all your observations. Our Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stoll has little presence in the new world. Any new information shall be precious indeed. Please stay safe, my friend. Eleanor Combs. I didn't know Eleanor and Charles were still in touch. The St. Paul Brotherhood is a tie that binds. Charles was so eager to continue his research here in New Eden. If only we had known what would befall us. Have you received other visitors? Most dare not leave their homes. Although Mr. Bachelor came to see me. That was nice of him. Esther, some food is in ale for you. Sorry for your loss. Your neighbors hold you in their hearts. In that sweet. A study of H. Parasols and G minor for string. Sadness in interval. A study of A alone scale by Henry Petrie. to investigate the bedroom. Charles is still here and Esther is completely distraught. She lost him and now he's back. A ghastly figure. It must be unbearable. Faith always was his beacon in the darkness. In people as much as in God. He's a good man. Remember when he started to wear these, to look wiser and older? <laughs> he was hiding his hair loss. A precious king from a chess set, protected by a glass dome. That's from the set he taught me with. I'd know it anywhere. Did he keep it to remind them of his favorite? Or to remind him that he had yet to beat me. I can still picture him crafting your very first Bane Ring. 
You sound much more fond of the moment now than you were back then. Bit green for an actual haunting, you said. <laughs> you were. Still, you did all right. Is that a map? The logical book from Charles' personal collection. Let's go to this one first. None of this side of the water, a few on the other known what I came to New Eden as minister in order to pursue research into the New World on behalf of the Brotherhood of St. Paul stole and what strangeness, strangeness I have found. There are ghosts here, yes, and old and unnumerable, but they are quite, they are quiet. I shall never say the word out loud, but I suspect there to be witches, and if I find one, I shall very much like to ask her for her story. Job seventeen thirteen fifteen thirteen. When I say my bed shall comfort me, my couch shall ease my complaints. 14. Then thou scariest then thou scariest me with dreams and terrifies me through visions. 15. So that my soul chosen chooses strangling death rather than my life. She comes to me in dreams. Charles's notes mention Job chapter 7. Verses 13 to 15. I'll look for that reference. Red, you dropped something. Mm -hmm. Well, you dropped something, Red. Pick it up. What do all these dreams have in common? They are... Are they the promise of doomsday or nightmares coming? Visions, foreshadowings, if someone behind... Is someone behind this? Who is the real target and what caused this anger to burst forth? I need to know how it gets into our heads. Sleep no longer offers rest and this cannot produce. These notes are erratic ramblings. Charles was worried about the curse plaguing the settlers' dreams. How malicious is this curse tormenting people in their beds? All right, now we get to investigate the bedroom where all the action didn't happen. That's a whole lot to read. I'm going to let you guys pause and read this if you want to know what it says.
Got enough books, Charles. See, the piano's not the only thing you paid a pretty penny to ship. Silver brooch, habitually worn by Charles Davenport, engraved with a distinctive three hilted sword. Okay, that doesn't look like a sword, but. Charles always wore this brooch. His things are untouched. Nothing's moved. Remember how they used to argue about books we hadn't read? Like we weren't there? Oh, you actually listen. I'd always let my mind wander. Alright, there's a letter there, but there's a couple more things over here. Little children are an heritage of the Lord. The fruit of the womb is his reward. Balsam 127-3. Three drops of lavender oil in chamomile, chamomile, infused for sleep, wintergreen to rub between palms of the hind ears three times a day. If restless persists, use lemon balm. Written by Evelyn. My dearest sister, Charles is dead. I cannot tell right from left. I cannot tell which day it is it is or how long my Charles depart my Charles departed. My world has become undone. Nothing happened as it was supposed to. I could not attend the burial. The shame of it. How I have failed my dear husband. I just could not find the strength to leave the house and walk to the place where Charles died, there to see him buried. Lord, have mercy on us. Guide our friends to us before it is too late. New Eden will not last much longer without my beloved husband to protect it. I do not have any words left in me, but I thought that you who loved him so should know of his passing. My love, Esther. Esther couldn't attend Charles's burial. Poor woman. Okay, Esther Devonport did not properly bid her husband farewell and now suffers from it. Exhausted by her grief, Esther is unable to leave the house and attend her husband's burial. All right, we still have one more for Charles to find. That's terrible for him. Esther never got to say farewell to Charles. I could have made him manifest. Now that we know why he might be back, we should go investigate the cemetery where he was found. Do you have anything Esther, new to say? I'm sorry to trouble you once more. How may I help? Has the curse brought with it nightmares? Yes. I've had nightmares. I suspect we all have. Charles warned that something was stalking our dreams. That it had a use for us. That we needed to fight it with all God's might. But... Now Charles is gone, and my nightmares have changed. In my sleep, I see my husband falling, screaming into the abyss. All hear him. None respond. He plummets on into the bottomless pit. Poor Charles. With all that's happened, how are you bearing up? This all feels so unreal. Just one more nightmare from which I cannot wake. It seems so now, but that will change. I promise. Was there something I should have done differently? Did I fail him? Did I fail Charles? None of that. Perhaps you have. have. I do not want to believe he is gone. He cannot be gone. I do not permit him to be gone. 
you're in pain, and that might have brought him back. Maybe he lingers because you suffer. We'll do what we can to ease your pain. And we'll do what we can for Charles. Alright, we must make our way to the cemetery. Please be careful, dear Antea. Alright, where's the front door? There's the front door. Shut the front door! Oh, I didn't see that. This is Charles's. Esther? You know we can help you sort through things around the house. I... I don't know that I'm ready for that, but I'll keep it in mind. What will you do for my Charles? If he's present, we'll find him. Then we'll ask him what he wants us to do. Must I see him too? First, let's find out what happened. After that, we'll see. Best get started. Time may be against us. You'll be all right. I doubt it, but I'll do my work all the same. We came here to help Charles and help Charles with Charles. Ask around. See what people will tell you. I'll go to the cemetery and do the same. Don't think it's wise to split up, Be but... careful. Hi. You too. Aye. Okay, we must go to the... Right. To find your location and your next objective, on open your map. Can I put a marker? Oh, what's this? Okay, so we have to go down, keep going right. That should mark where we need to go. Hey, old man. Can't talk to you, huh? All right. Hello, lady. Can we I talk to you? I must take a moment by myself. Excuse me. Okay. At least she's polite about it. She politely said, fuck off. I don't want you around here. Warning, the docks are closed for... Sabotage by fire. All trade to Boston, Marblehead, Salem, etc. is cut until the saboteur is caught. Okay, I see. I'm compelled. This fire can't have started on its own. To the shiny okay, stuff cold. that I must take. Can I climb over that? No. Okay. I can break that though. New Eden Town Harbor docks stockage. I'll let you pause it if you want to read this. Be warned. I need but cry out, and help shall come in an instant. Come, what is that supposed to mean? Antea Duarte, Minister Davenport's banisher. Oh, oh, of course, I'm so sorry. Poor Reverend Davenport. His death has shaken us all. Welcome to New Eden. I'm afraid you find us at our worst. We're banishers, 
There's nowhere else we'd rather be. And you are? I, madam, am Squire Sincere Paris, traveling merchant, stuck in this cursed place and eager to be somewhere else. One little tip for you, Mikey. You're almost always rewarded for going in the wrong direction. Those who dare defy the curse are brave indeed, and I fear... All right, good to know. Foolish. Banishing is a job, sir. And to do it, I need detail. If you please. A banisher must have charms. A trinkets, I mean, of protection. If you have a surplus, I'd happily relieve you of your burden. BG School of Getting Lost 101 What I need right now is information about the curse. What have you seen that might help me with my work? I've seen famine, madness, the shadow of early death, weather too. So I've seen skies weather. of blue. I mean, I've seen it Red all before. Fish. Roses of white. Here, it's everything, everywhere, and all at the same time. Folks stay indoors, waiting to be told what to do. Waiting to die, really. Ghosts in the making, all of them. The nightmares. Do you get them too? Of course I do. Not everyone will admit it, but we all have bad dreams. Of what do you dream? I dream someone watches me sleep. I sometimes fancy she's present when I'm awake. She never speaks, nor moves. Sounds like he's having she perverted dreams, not nightmares. She just stands there, watching me, waiting, taking my measure. Does she manifest at a particular hour? By measure, you If she mean. does, I have no way of knowing it. Unable as we are in this interminable grey to tell day from night. Well, there you are. Information on the curse, as per your request. Uh, I won't even charge you for it. <laughs> You're leaving town? As soon as possible. Did you arrive, I see? A ship lies at anchor in the bay. Perhaps a captain would take me and my wares to safety. The crew refused to dock, and I suspect they'll leave on the next available tide. We rode ourselves a show. Might I ask where you abandoned this rowboat of yours? Along the coast? No. By a path remarkable for its angry specters and bloody corpses. If you wish to make the sailing, I hope your wares can swim. Speaking of your wares, show me your Can't wares, sir. Most of my goods are already packed, but I never refuse a deal. Okay, so it's pieces of eight that you, uh... Alright, so that stuff is resources. Leather. Boots with the fur. String, okay, and I can sell the same thing, but I don't, I don't know if I need any of this yet, so I'm not going to sell you or buy anything, sir. Good day. I bid you good day, Squire Paris, and thank you for your time. A pleasure, Mistress Duarte. Do be careful, Mistress Duarte. Oh, more pieces of eight. Okay. Read that. I can't go. Can I jump across? Nope, cannot jump across. Okay. So, so far I've gone in the only direction that I can. There's a boat right there, buddy. So eager to steal ours. Oh, I see that chest. I see that chest, but we must go this way first, because I see shinies over here first. I will take that. 
nothing over here. God, this music's so intense. Pyrite pieces of eight and leather. All right. I don't know why the music got really, really intense there for a second, but... Uh, I'm gonna say that's a cemetery. Yeah, okay. Ooh, what are you? Are you good orb or a bad orb? I did not mean to do that. Damn it! I was I'm so healing myself. I hope I can get more of that, whatever it is. Cemetery's closed, like, together. Yeah, right. yeah. Where are you leading me? I fucking healed myself again, I didn't need to. Or to heal myself. Oh, I could. I got a freebie. Most of these people died fighting. Someone didn't want them here. Anything over here? No, okay. I see an up and a down. More hoof fungus. Oh, my rings. What are you? Are you gold? All right, okay. My fingers are glowing. As a banisher, you can feel places or objects that have been marked by ghosts. When in close proximity to these elements, you will get used to the mighty. Squinting face with Tom. Squinting face with Tom. I've seen more graves here than I've met settlers. Let's come up this way. Alright, well, we, we're supposed to touch that. Anything over here? Ooh, rats. A memory lingers here. I might be able to reveal it. Take the pie, right? All right. Something tells me we're supposed to go up there. So let's. Uh, rituals, memories of dead linger here. To reveal them, you must gather the necessary resources. 
Pyrite and Seashore Candle. Medium sized plant with a long leaves, star shaped flowers. If okay. I mix the stones I found earlier with seashore candle, that might do it. Everyone buried here died in 1677. A previous epidemic? There was a pathway here. We came from there. No. We didn't come from here. Many dead in more recent years. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda creeped out a little bit here. Why didn't you wait for us, old friend? I swear I'll make it up to you. Alright, there's his grave. Alright, we can go down there. Can't go any further. Don't believe her, Mikey. My wife says that all the time. I'm getting up that way. Still got one more area I want to check out. This way. And that's just gonna bring us down there. Okay. Can't do nothing with that. All right. All right. Before we do that, yeah. oh, look at all this stuff. Oh, oh, hello. She's got a strong grip. She's just grabbing that pyrite right off the wall. Is there anything else I'm missing? Alright, banishers can perform rituals. 
The nature of the site determines the which ritual should be performed. Performing a ritual consumes resources, even if you select the incorrect ritual. Oh, okay. To reveal the memories, you need to perform a hurricane ritual. This would be the hurricane ritual. Reveal. Reveal an echo. This ritual helps one to tune into fading but pres present memory left behind a lingering ghost through the compelling words, carving or drawing. Okay, well, let's see what. Force a ghost or specter to appear using a unknown that tie and binds a ghost to the incarnate is generally necessary such as ritual may be channeled through compelling words carving drawing okay and force a scourge to appear all right well we need to do a harking In each stain hides a story. In the name of the Lord, I command you. Be gone from this place! You do not command me, clergyman. Who are you, ghost? Unveil yourself! Well, since you ask so politely... Who are you? I am everything you've ever feared! Drooling face, I'm eating some taco turkey mac and cheese while chilling to the stream drooling face. Nice! No ties! No purpose! No. But neither do Oh, she gave him a heart attack. Either that or she's cupping his uh his balls really hard. But I'm betting on a heart attack. Oh. Damn it. That thing he faced. What was it? Obviously he didn't put the trash out. I made some easy enchiladas I should tell you about Zero. Take out. Charles Balby. Charles's Bible found half buried in the mud of in the cemetery. So Job 13, 15, 15. When I say my bed shall comfort me. That's the same uh, one that was in the house. The tie that binds his ghost. With it, I can make him manifest. Back to his Sounds place. delicious, pixel drooling face. All right, guys, I'm going to take a quick second to uh, go to the bathroom, grab a drink, smoke them if you got them, eat them if you have them, uh, just I'll be back. It was like a few ingredients easy to make.
Alrighty, I am back. I think I am starting to develop carpal tunnel. It hurts when I pick up stuff. It hurts my wrist. Which is not good. That means I'm going to have to start wearing a brace on my wrist. And I don't want to do that because those are a pain in the balls. I have the arthritis in mine so fun. Yeah. Whole lots of fun. All right, we must go back to Charles's grave. If the brace is a pain in the balls, you're wearing it wrong, sir. Uh, that is true. Unless you with mistress. <laughs> Perhaps I am. Now is a good time for we old friends to talk. We've come too far, Red and I, not to see you one last time. Your pupil has become the master. If we fight, I'll beat you. She just quotes Star Wars. Come on, Charles. Join me now. I know you're here. No. I know you're here. You know me, Ghost. I only wish to talk. Esther worries. Until here. He's not a bad looking guy for a priest. Oh, poor Esther. I'm so sorry, my friend. So sorry for us all. Well, what Reverend, happened? whatever he is. What's going on here? Sad to say, dear friend. I made a mistake. And it cost me my life. Is Red with you? There is no time to waste. Why did you not wait for our help? The threat was rising. Despair growing. He is a little decomposed, sir. So much sickened flesh. Still a good-looking fella. So many afflicted souls. There was He's no not decomposed. Time. Do you know how this curse began? What prompted it, I do not know. Nor do I know when. Many months ago, certainly. But I do know this. Each to their own, I guess. Chose New Eden for a reason. So... I expected him to be like an old man. This one is different. Implacable. Very clever. Many magnitudes more ferocious than a spectre. And just as relentless. Before you died, you investigated the curse. What did you learn? That our enemy is deceptive and merciless. That we should not underestimate its power. We? I am dead, dearest Dante. But I am a banisher yet. I may still teach you. If I allow you, which I do not. Dante, do not repeat my mistakes. If a nightmare curses New Eden, you need all the help you can get. Its presence felt strongest in the meeting house. Perhaps the light of God there forced it to fight its ground. I had the building closed. 
The worst of the malevolence is contained. But it won't stay locked up for long. I thought nightmares were a myth. A nightmare is the rarest of ghosts. A powerful, insidious spirit, birthed by tragedy most dreadful. How do I banish it? There is meager wisdom in the texts. What little there is says it cannot be banished at all. If it's a ghost, I can't banish it. You took notes, I suppose? Where might I find them? They... vanished. <laughs> in the days before my death. Perhaps I mislaid them. Which is not like me. If you find them, read them carefully. Perhaps I missed something. Something important. We'll banish it, Red and I. Our good friend's death shall not go unpunished. Be warned. This nightmare is too angry to be persuaded. And too powerful to be destroyed. Your death pains us greatly. Your return pains me too. I know. For my part, I'm glad to have seen you one last time. To have had the chance to warn you. How did this nightmare kill you? I believed that I could come to the cemetery and make it manifest. To my initial delight, it worked. I now suspect it came by choice. It seems amused, as if it were a pleasant game to weigh my measure as a man. Hmm. How does its malevolence manifest? It poisons minds and sickens bodies. It draws specters to it and sours the weather. It delivers nightmares to one's sleep. For a time, screams tore through the night as folk awoke in terror. When it appeared to me, I did not see its true face. I wonder. But I heard a woman. She was love. Now I know VG is close. playing this um, My heart currently. Froze. It has a series on it, but I haven't really watched any of it because I, I wanted to pure. keep this the ghost of one who was kind of like a blind playthrough. I've heard your warning. You can but I wonder, on. I'm thinking that no, this nightmare, agree. like this I know she is attention. supposed to die at some My point. Needs me too. I'm kind of thinking you that that nightmare kills her. You know I won't allow that. I am still myself, Antea. With time, I'll grow stronger. I can help you. The longer you haunt Esther, the hungrier you'll be. You know this. This is different. I'm the Reverend Charles Davenport, your friend and mentor. Oh. oh me. You know I am a good man. I knew you. You were a good man. Now you are a ghost. And I cannot let that stand. But I swear it, the nightmare will end, and Red and I shall do the ending. Charles Davenport was a good man, and a fine mentor. And you a fine student, though you took a hard line. I never could unpick that from your character. Has life tempered you since? Life has tempered my steel. Death and the manner of it have made you the very thing you once opposed. Goodbye, Charles. Peace on your soul. Remembrance on your soul. Wait. wait. Wait for what? We're banishers. Death to the dead. Let Esther choose for herself. Oh, Lord. Please don't ask me to do that. Esther. My good wife. And the very best. I miss you so. Oh, dear Lord. Charles. Why are you here? Why have you come back? You must leave. Please. I must stay. I must protect you. The thing in the meeting house feeds on our torment. I should have known better. 
The longer you're around, the more you torment her, the more he feeds. And Tia, give Charlie the ascent he deserves. Charles Davenport, you have no reason to stay. Go. Let Esther grieve in peace. Save her, my friend. And save yourselves. Save them all. <clears throat> so there's a good way to banish, and there's a painful way to banish. I'll walk Esther home. I'll do it. The women can talk. Uh, then, all the way to the schoolhouse and make the bed. Charles is at rest now. And Tia, she gave him the care he needed. My child, where do you think he is now? He's... Uh, I don't know. I miss the warmth of his hands. His calm presence in our house. If I close my eyes, I can picture him. He's in a place where sunlight chases the snow away. It is warm and there is fresh milk. The sheets are cleaned and pressed and folded. Nothing can ever be the matter. You're right. He's at peace. And you deserve to rest. Who's escorting who here? I'm sorry. I'll miss him. Dearly. Tomorrow, we'll continue investigating the curse. Good night, Esther. I am glad you are here. Both of you. We need you. You should get some sleep. You'll need it. Off to Betty Bye. We're not staying here, I take it. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay, we're heading. Straight forward. Yes? A moment more of your time, if you don't mind. Sleepy time for little banishers. Of course I yep. My sister and I attended all his services, and grateful we were too. He was the moral foundation stone of the colony. His poor widow. She must be bereft. Have you been to the meeting house recently? Minister Davenport closed it. No matter. God needs no other house than his servants' hearts. I'll say no more, but there is no more to say. Do you have bad dreams? Charles, Minister Davenport, said many here had unpleasant dreams. He suspected they were part of the curse. You are a curious character indeed, mistress. 
My dreams, good or bad or otherwise, are my own business, and so they shall remain. Well, excuse me, Miss High and Mighty. Governor Haskell told us of the curse. I'd like to understand what it is and from where it came. While I'll not speak ill of my neighbors, someone must have let the evil in. A name might help. I'll not poison my parish with loose chatter. Besides, I have no name to give you. Okay. Well, goodbye, Miss Holier. Now. Have your time back with my thanks. Well, thank the Lord for that. Wow, what a bish. Well, what are you doing, kind sir? Yeah, Good madam. day to you, madam. Antea Duarte is my name. May I ask yours? Duarte? Duarte? You came with the Banisher, did you not? I am the Banisher. <laughs> right. Her church name is Sister Bertha better than you. <laughs> Times are Let me have a look at you. Oh, right. Well, I hope I'm wrong. Bathsheba Ingersoll, or I was the last time I looked. Okay. What can you tell me about the curse? Did Haskell not lay it out? We freeze, and at the same time, we rot. Minister Davenport said he'd summoned the best banisher there is. Can you lift the curse? In my experience, most curses are actually hauntings. And while ghosts are treacherous, they're not invincible. You should hear her squeal around squirrels. But I'm afraid I would be lying. I should gear her squeal around squirrels? Uh, it may seem like an I don't know if question. I know what that means, VG. But may I ask if the curse has brought you bad dreams? Every time I close my eyes, I'm in this door. Coins fall from the ceiling. Only a few at first. When they hit the floor, they break. Do you not know the song? Finger bones, perhaps. No, I don't. Cascade smashing down to flood the store. I try to flee, but the flood rises too fast. I drown in shards of broken bone. There. Aren't you glad you asked? Ray Stevens, Mississippi Squirrel. I'll have to look it up. What can you tell I might about know the it. Town meeting house? The minister closed it down. Said it was dangerous. Imagine. Worship is dangerous now. Do you remember when and why? The when is difficult to say. I admit I have lost track of time with the dullness of the days. Tell me about your store. Why? Would you like to buy some china? Some porcelana? A linen dress? That's about all we have left. That's, no, you that's snarky like attitude, bitch. Man, people are Master freaking miserable in this town. Staples. I should have gone when I had the chance. I suppose beneath it all, I'm an optimist. And that makes me a fool. A very good day to you, madam. You're optimistic too, then. Aren't we the fools? Bish, you best not talk to my Mikey like that. Right? Just rudeness after rudeness after rudeness. I sell that homeboy. Hey, homeboy, come here. Talk to me. Get out of my way. Oh. Sent to he a link. A... Listen to it. It's freaking hysterical. He's a jerk. I will do that. Hey, you. Good day, sir. You'll be one of Haskell's banishes, I take it. Antea Duarte. You may meet Red McWraith about the place. You bachelor. The governor had me prepare the schoolhouse for your comfort. 
It is all the huge bachelor. Will that be all? That's a nice name. What can you tell me about the curse? New Eden is scrutinized by God. Better days lie ahead if his servants remain humble and true. Do I detect a note of disapproval, Mr. Bachelor? I was hoping for a warmer welcome. Oh, I don't doubt your honesty, nor your will to fight the devil. But we have prayed for salvation. And, madam, without wishing to offend, you are no angel. How do you know that? Do you have bad dreams, Mr. Bachelor? <laughs> you don't want to hear about those. Try me. In my sleep, chanting demons defile our precious meeting house and burn it to the ground. Two poor souls are trapped inside. A man and a woman, screaming oaths and curses in strange tongues. I wake with a start and rush to the window. I am relieved to see the meeting house still standing. Did you know the Reverend Davenport thought the meeting house haunted? I did know that. To his shame, the late minister ended services and closed the meeting house. No wonder we are where we are. And what do you think sits in the meeting house? Miss, if the devil sits in our meeting house, it means that we, the people of New Eden, have failed to repudiate his works. Obviously. Uh, he makes sense. Where are the children? Several died of fever. We could see disaster coming. We thought we'd have to bury them all. We sent the children to safety. We sent them away. That can't have been easy. It can't be easy now. No. No, it is not. Well, sir, you have been a ray of sunshine. Thank you for your time. Farewell, Mr. Bachelor. And you may wish us luck. I shall not wish you luck. I shall wish you salvation. You know, to be honest with you, it's kind of like a bitchy thing to say to somebody. You may wish us luck. I may wish you to fuck off. Banisher's techniques. As a banisher, no spiritual guides, inquisitors. We are ghost hunters for hire. Specialized in sensitive craft. Different time, injury. different way of thinking. Yeah. We are no cult. There is no heresy, hierarchy, nor established dogma among us. The most obvious reason why a banisher becomes a banisher is because he or she wants to protect the living from the dead. Whatever the reason, we're effective, adaptive, and versatile. <clears throat> oh, wow, well, okay. I'll let you pause and read this as you may. I'm going to quickly skim through it. I kind of like that saying, thus we prevail, what thus we fight. did you see the reception Auntie and him got for her being the banisher and him being her understudy? Times changed. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. I, I mean, I, I'm sure the color of her skin is part of it. That or being a female. Is there anything else I can touch? No. Is that a pistol? A shotgun?
We did the right thing. Charles was our friend. I love you, Red McGrath. But? But when it comes to ghosts, your heart makes you reckless. It's dangerous. Were you really about to banish Charles? That wasn't Charles. That was the ghost of Charles. Charles Davenport. Our oldest friend, the man who brought us together. Our friend is dead. His ghost was a danger to his wife. Ghosts only bring misery, Red. Make no mistake, they steal life's essence from the living. Aye. They don't always do it out of malice. Give them that. That's a tough one. We are banishers. We end suffering for those who live. We bring closure to those who don't. A ghost may suffer too. A sin puts a gentler end to it. But not a safer one. Better to banish and be sure. Would you banish me? If it came to. You'll not escape me so easy. You I would bring back from the dead. That's not funny. I'd fill you with fresh essence. I'd give you so much essence you'd return bloated with life. Steal essence from the living to feed my ghost, you <laughs> wouldn't You're a scruffy-headed lout, Red McGrath, and I will never let you go. Over my dead body, mister. I thought I was meant to be the soft-hearted one. <laughs> you are. I think Charles was right. This thing in the meeting house could be, what did he call it, a nightmare? I really hope not. I can see a lot Such of foreshadowing here. Legendary ghosts, even for banishers. We'll see tomorrow. Now to sleep. This was a dreadful day. Poor Charles. Poor Esther. Aye, poor Esther. Oh, that's one hell of a dream. She took her fire bane. She says I'm the reckless one. Okay. And now we're playing as him. Quest started. 